like a Friday. I'm calling from Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, I'm invited by uh, Ebide Kayomi to this platform. All so right. the You're question welcome. I thank you. The question I want to ask is uh, does this uh, to science uh, therapy does it cure goita? Okay. Um, goita that has lasted for about uh, maybe uh, six to seven years. Okay, thank you very much. Any question you want to ask? Is that your question? So I will call one of our leader, one of the calls, Mr. Victor. Please, can you unmute yourself? Thank you. Mr. Victor, can you take the question? Or any of the co-hosts can take the question. Yeah, Mr. Wale. Yeah, right. thanks a lot. Good evening, right, sir. buddy. Good evening. I, I didn't know you were going to ask me. <laughs> so it came up mm -hmm. like like a lightning bolt. But um, well, thank God. We were very well worded the presentation with the right energy. Uh, messages were well delivered. Uh, so to the question, the answer is simple and is straightforward. Yes, it can solve it. Yes, it can solve it. So that's just it. Um, Thank you, you very much, sir. Patient. And uh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. But it can solve it. No. Yeah. All right. Thank you very <laughs> much. Right. So straight, direct answer, so I can solve it. So any other Thank question? You. We still have some minutes. Thank you very much. We still have six minutes. You're welcome, sir. Just get back to the person. It will give All you the right. right combination of what you need. So Thank you. any other question? You're welcome, sir. Any other question from the chat room? Yeah. Good evening. I have a question. Good evening, sir. Let me check. Good evening. You can unmute yourself. Go mm -hmm. ahead. This is... Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Who are you talking now? Hello. Go ahead. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. We can hear you. Go ahead. Let's take the question one after the other, please. Somebody is raising their hand up. Can you, Mr. Sunday, go ahead. Can you unmute Hello? yourself? Yes. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I think we had uh, Alexandra, the female voice, asking first. So maybe we should let her have it go. Okay, go ahead. Now, uh, Sunday. All right. Yes, go ahead. Good evening. Yes, good evening. So my question is, can this people science cure um? I don't know how to explain it. There is a woman that has a neck pain. She has pictures on her neck, uh, stripped to the back, like to a backbone. So, like, the leg is she. Seriously, we are barely hearing you. Okay. Can't hear you very well. We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Please, can you be specific? I'm the audible enough, please. Okay. Can this people say your next stroke? Care what? My co host, can anybody hear her? Oh, can you I hear can, me? Yeah. You can repeat the question, but be very audible. Can this people say your next Stroke that sure. affects the leg. Stroke, yes, that affects the leg. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, Wale, are you granting me the chance to answer the question? Please, please? go ahead, go ahead, sir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, yes, it can take care of stroke. Uh, we have um, testimonies of such in the past, and it's still very, very uh, much available. The idea is that. Um, like I like I was I had a presentation today on the WhatsApp with some people from UK and Nigeria combined. I told them once we understand what stem cells are, and once we also understand what is the genesis or the origin of a particular health challenge, it will be easier for us to understand how stem cell takes care of it. So stroke basically um I don't want to talk about the cost, but it has to be it has to do with the damage of the brain cells. Part of the brain cells are damaged. So once that part is damaged, the, the the mobility of the legs or the arms, the limbs, or the speech will be affected. So massaging and all therapies, they are all nice, but the best solution is to reverse the situation. Since we have destruction of cells, all we need to do is to regenerate brand new cells in the brain. 
and stem cells will do that and you'll get results. Of course, you have to add snow field to clear the, um, the uh, arteries of cholesterol or probably damaged veins of ischemic, ischemic um, stroke and so many other things. But yes, 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 you get results, you get results. But you need patience. You need patience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I believe your question has the answer. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mamanka, you can take the next question from Mr. Sunday. Go ahead. I've okay. been on mute. I, I, okay, Sammy. I cannot... Sammy, um, Sammy, Sammy. Okay, hello, good evening. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. So I was introduced here by um, Peter Shegun, uh, keeping the surname private. So um, I told him particularly about a challenge from a baby. And um, well, the challenge was that the baby was born with a cause the birth issues, which was hydrocephalus and um, spina bifida. Um, so, um, the doctor did a surgery to close up the back for the spinal bifida for the newborn at two weeks. And five months later, I, the hydrocephalus was treated with a shunt to drain off the water from the brain to the body. And then, um, shortly after, I think about 10 months later, the shunt failed and they have to take out the shunt and redo another shunt. So that being said, the doctor also pointed out so many other things like um, the slim chance of him walking because of the nerves towards the lower part of the spine mm -hmm. that was affected by the spinal bifida. Like so that. there's a lower reaction on the lower limbs of the leg of the baby. Mm -hmm. If you pinch the baby, there's no reaction. If you pin him or anything on the lower leg from the knee downward, there's no reaction. Although um, the surgery was done like 10 days ago, the second surgery for the brain. And um, just uh, two days ago, we experienced him having a seizure, which yeah. that was the first time. Mm -hmm. And we thought, ah, what could this have been? Until we got to the hospital and then we started seeing him. We're even trying to replace the bandage of the last surgery. And then we saw him being dead, and we discovered it was seizure. So he was given a drug to manage or prevent it. Although we did a CT scan to check what is wrong with this, with the brain, and they are probably going to review that tomorrow. So that being said, I narrated it with the person who introduced me. I think he sent me some chat of what was maybe discussed with one of you guys. And then thereafter, he sent me a link for this. And I said, I'm going to join and share the issues Hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. How old is the baby? Is it one month, five? One year, five okay. months. Yep. So I'm calling from okay, Lagos. Ma Mama, okay. can, can you go ahead? Yes. Good evening, uh, sir. Good evening. Hello. Um, please, can no. you hold on? Let us let hold us up, please. Me. Let's just take this. Hello. Mute. Question, please. Please, please mute. Chin, please. Okay. It's a good thing that you're coming up early. I mean, the baby is a year and five months, you say. I know exactly what, what you described here. I've had a couple tell me about it. Um, it's a birth defect. And um, like if you had listened to the presenter stating that when we yeah. are all born, we are born with extra supply of stem cells. But as we grow older, it reduces. And by the age of 25, it is a lot less than what we are born with. So the chances of healing is always better with children. They adapt and they grow faster with the stem cell. Now, that uh, opening of the, of the backbone that's exposing the spinal cord, the, uh, that defect, the congenital defect you mentioned there, can be healed. I, I pause to use that word because we are told not to use the word healing, but it, it can actually be, be, be healed with the use of stem cells. Because what stem cells will do is that that incomplete growth that has exposed the spinal cord, the bones, when the stem cells that are supposed to, the cells that are supposed to make the good complete have been increased, which is what our stem cells will do. That baby getting over that ailment is extremely, the prognosis is very good. 
And uh, the seizures that he experienced, it's normal when they, have, when they put a stunt in the brain, probably an irritation of his brain membrane. In the process of uh, replacing that stunt is what caused that seizure. We've had adults, full-grown adults that were prone to having seizures regularly, being calmed with the use of our products. There are several of them. There's the IIQ, there's the, the double stem cell itself, and of course, um, the snowfield force. So the combination of those products would definitely, if his chances of survival was 25% with our, with, our, with our stem cells, you can call it 80%. So I would encourage you, I mean, we've had cases where babies that were, I'm trying to remember that uh, that uh, birth defect of a baby that is born and then they have very little chances of living. And that baby, we don't have that picture in our slides anymore. Baby was giving up, they would just give them up for, for dead. They would not even bother to attend to them. Newborn baby. And that baby survived that particular type of a cancer. If Alex is here, she would know the name. Um, Alaji, um, Shekinat here has testimonies of babies that were born with, uh, young, young stars that had hypertension, that had strokes, and they were healed and perfectly well. So give phytoscience a good shot. And I want to assure you that the prognosis will definitely be better than whatever it is medical science will tell you. Oh, thank you thank so you, much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that is amazing. I believe you have gotten that information. Just get back to the person. Use the product. You get your results. So we'll take one more okay. question. Sorry, because we sorry, have... sorry, please. Let me quickly okay. add a little to you please, or clarify. Um, so the person, when I spoke to that, uh, my friend, he said I should get a uh, Krista, Krista, the other Krista, I don't know if Krista is getting now. So Krista <laughs> cell. Or, double stem cell. Yeah. Yeah. Krista no cell. I, I no, Krista cell. So, and then um, the doctor also mentioned that um, he couldn't control his bowel. If he urinates at any time, if he defecates. Although he's still a baby, but with the signs you see, it's evident that he couldn't control it. So I didn't, mm -hmm. I forget to add that in the challenges. But yeah. the other thing said I can get the crystal, which said we should try. And then one thing again is about the dosage. So which you also mentioned that we can try with one quarter of the crystal stem cell. So I want to know if probably I should just stick to the crystal stem cell for now. And if one quarter, one third of these dose is never too excessive, you know, being a child, they were like, is it too much or is it okay? And is it crystal stem cell? Is it, is it enough for now? Pending, or I should combine it with some other products just for clarity's sake. Okay. Since you are in Lagos, maybe he can consult with um, Dr. Victor Uzuka for the exact dose. What do you think, Mr. Wally? Yeah, it's okay. It's better. Okay. So I, I would advise that you speak with the person that, that uh, invited you. They consult. We have an in-house doctor, a medical doctor, who, who would help you. He helps a lot with getting the exact dose, a dosage, and of what that you should uh, that's best for for your child. All right, thank you so much, man. How do I? I just meet that my friend. So make me just meet the doctor. person that sent you the link. Meet the person. All right, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, okay, well, our our time has passed spent. We're going to just take one more question with close. Please. Hello, hello. Can I ask a question, please? Can I ask who, who, who is speaking? So, uh, my name is Brad Junior. Oh, my name is Brad Junior. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Um, Brad Junior. Yeah, please. I'm a kidney patient. I've been on this problem for over two and a half years now. So who I'm, invited I'm you here, sir? Uh Mr. Victor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Okay. Victor okay. invited me. All right. All right. So, so right. please, my question is, my question is, I'm on dialysis. How can mm -hmm. this stem cell help, help, help me? That's my mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Mother Alex, are you in the house? Mm -hmm. Mother Alex, are you in the house? <laughs> Mother Alex. Hello? Hold on, sir. Um, I think Alaji okay, Sekina also wants to speak. Okay, I don't know. Alaji Sekina, go ahead. Alaji Sekina, go ahead. Alaji Sekina. Yes. Okay. Good evening, dear leaders. Good evening. 
we appreciate everyone for joining. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm. Chi, just go ahead with the stem cell therapy. Like they've been explaining since morning, this will help in regenerating new cells for those ailing organs. Mm? Just go ahead. We've, we've had many cases of kidney failure that have been treated with this original 100% organic regenerative plant stem cell therapy. Uh, and the mindset is also very key. Just be positive minded. We, you can be rest assured that some days to come, you will also come to this platform to testify to the glory of God Almighty. Mm? Yeah. Go ahead with the therapy and we can assure you, we have so many testimonies regarding kidney issues. Yes, that one we can assure you about. If not because of time, we will have asked people, those who have gone through it, some of them are here with us, to start relating their experiences. But we can assure you that those ailing organs, new cells will be regenerated for them and the body will start its former normal functioning part. Okay, thank and you. Finally, and then someone else to again. Yeah. Can I be taking my session? drug and can I be taking my drug and yes. taking the stem cell drug at the same yes. time? The stem cell does not interact with any drugs. So you okay, should still okay. go ahead with your drugs, but at a point in time with the necessary improvements, you will know when to stop. Do you understand? Okay. But we don't advise people to stop their drugs immediately. Okay. Thank you very much. No Thank you. Thanks Thank for you joining us. My name is someone also asked what products she will need for fertility issue is in the chat. Thank you, Lida, okay. for staying true. <laughs> it's due to okay. unexpected. Uh, okay. Um, we'll not be able to take any question again. But the fact okay. means that the person can just get back to the person who prefer. It will tell you the person exactly product combination that is needed for that. Okay, somebody is sharing the slide. You can see it, sir. Uh, Mr. Chin, you can see kidney failure. You can see the testimony here. So thank you so much for sharing it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. You see? So we have thank wonderful you. people. So I want to say a big thank you. We have come to the end of this presentation tonight. Who is that? <laughs> I think I'm not giving her the chance. Don't give her the chance. Uh, yeah. Okay, for me, okay, what, please, let us, so that we don't look as if we didn't take your question. Oh, yeah. Uh, one one question okay, yeah, I said, can the products help uh, my sister who has been diagnosed of stage four cancer? Me, I will tell you directly, I have, by the grace of God, I used it on stage five cancer, and it's worked perfectly. <laughs> So oh, if it can work on stage, we have treated stage five, we have treated stage four, stage three, stage two. Mm -hmm. Presently, mm -hmm. I'm even still, I'm using it on stage four, presently. So, and they are seeing remarkable what changes. Just mm -hmm. that they need patient and they need um good quality and quantity of the products. Good quantity oh. of the product is important. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yes. Don't get back to the person. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for yeah, thank you wherever so you are joining from. Thank you so much, Phytoscience Nigeria, for giving me the opportunity to host this meeting. And to Alaja Sekina, thank you so much. All my co-hosts, uh, Mr. Victor, uh, the president, I will not be able to mention. Thank you so much for your time. Just get back to the person who will refer you here. You have gotten the information. The person will send you everything you need. Believe you me, on Wednesday, join us here somebody by 8 p.m. Sir, somebody okay. must invite you. Somebody huh? invited you. Somebody sent you a link. <laughs> so you saying that somebody not invited you, it means that you just <laughs> saw the link on the air. Move it. <laughs> so somebody oh, must have posted it somewhere. Sir? How can, I, how can I get the, the name of and the number of the person? That's the problem. Follow that link. I want to Go get to the that number. Link where you, 
the link you joined from, where you saw that link, there is a number there. Hello, Alex. Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, let me, uh, sir, where, where did you get the link from? Sorry, Wally. Sorry, I know you're like. Hello, sir. Facebook. 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 Okay, that yeah. Facebook link, right? Ask any of your sons or daughters or anybody that is computer savvy to connect that link to the uh -huh. owner of the person that sent it. You will get it. Ask somebody in your house okay. or your neighbor that knows mm -hmm. computer. They will tell you the, where the link came from. You can send a message that on that Facebook. Okay. Send a, me a direct message. Just get somebody that is in your house. Okay. Know about computer. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, in fact, the VVIP is Thank our you. first uh, people that join us for the first time. Thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. Let's do this together on Wednesday again. Every Monday, we do our health direct, and every Wednesday is our proving system. Thank you, Phyto Science. Thank you, all the leaders. Thank you for joining. Thank you, all Mr. Wally. Thank you. Thank, oh, you so thank you so much. So, we. Who are we? Well.